Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Promise Neverland season 2 episode number 5. Okay, the previous episode, um, quite a few things happened. Uh, number one, there was this whole thing with Isabella. Um, like, we're still not sure what she is actually planning to do. But the demons uh, kind of promised her something, which is probably coinciding with her own motives. Uh, and I'm guessing her main motive is to survive which they kind of said that we'll like let you go after like you bring the children back and I'm not sure what the like devil like the demon said in her years or like we can only guess but like then her uh, whole demeanor changed and she kind of like got like ready to go and capture the children I'm not sure what that was but Let's just like see how this plays out. And uh, after that, uh, there was the whole thing with um, those people who were <clears throat> like dispatched by the orphanage who came to capture the children. Uh, they ran out from their like hideout and unfortunately, like that was a really good place to live and now they cannot use it. So, and then there's like this huge, I don't know, like a spider kind of monster that came out that like straight out <laughs> came out from Attack on Titan and like like the children had to like run to the forest so i'm guessing this episode we will see them uh, bump into uh, mujika and sonju i'm not sure but that's probably how it this should go so let's just see let's just watch so yeah guys um without further ado let's get started with um promise neverland season 2 episode number 5 all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here thank you to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Um, sound is okay. Here we go. Okay. Um. Now we're still not sure about Sonju. Like he's suspicious, but I'm not sure. Like I think Mujika is pretty um safe. Like he seemed pretty. Uh, she seemed pretty um. Like a, like a good girl and like I'm not sure about Sonju but like I'm just guessing like he may be he may turn out to be one of those guys you know that you kind of are like suspicious in the beginning and then they turn out to be a really amazing character uh, like there are these type of characters uh, you know like from uh, like Dr. Stone uh, again like he at the beginning he was kind of like everyone was suspicious about him about his intentions and then he turned out to be one of the best characters in the show so let's just see <laughs> okay let's see The hell is this? Oh, this is settlement of the demons. Whoa, we are seeing these type of like they're showing us like the daily lives of the demons and everything. Oh boy. Damn, look at the fingers. What is that, Thanos? Huh? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, they're like... Damn. Oh, 
Wow, just look. They're like buying. Oh boy, well. Hmm. Okay, what is this place? This looks like some kind of ruins. Whoa. January medicinal herbs mugwort Wait, uh, uh, is this like the ch oh the children the children are disguising as demons isn't it? No, I kind of like Did not um, catch it at the beginning, but yeah, I think so Okay, so Oh, so did they like time skip or something? What? Some kind of trap? Oh, okay. Oh, no. That was like an uh, informing device. Yep. What are those? Oh. Uh. Okay, they are looking kind of grown up, so I'm guessing one year like went by. Like, especially the children. <clears throat> okay. So they somehow are like in this, like they went into the demon settlement. Like they're living in the outskirts of it. Mm hmm Okay, well, they're like living like this, like this is... Oh my god, they're still under the impression that everything is okay in the orphanage. Oh no. Yeah. No, like, even in the shelter, it was still dangerous. Like, you need to go to the human settlement. God, like they're under a lot of stress, especially Emma being the leader, kind of the leader. Mm, yeah.
Damn it. <sighs> yeah, and the whole thing in the like orphanage is like a fake thing, a fake broadcast. Like we, st we we don't know whether they're okay or not, the children. And they're under they're also under the wrong impression that everything is okay. Yeah. Yeah, but mm -hmm. Okay. Damn, it's so dark. Like I can barely even Okay. Uh, I'm having a bad feeling about this. Okay, calm down kids. Oh no, like, I don't think you should do these kind of things like in, like in such a place. Oh boy, oh, oh, wait, someone's coming. Um, hello, who is there? Um, I can barely even see what's happening. What the? So freaking dark. Like, what is this? Who is this guy? Oh, is this like an old old demon or something? I keep telling you, so he came here before. And he's blind, I think. Okay, wait. Oh. Um, okay, is that guy? Uh, okay, is he not? Does he not know that these are humans? Like, they said that they are like masking the smell yeah he does not know that these are humans
he is blind and also they are masking the scent Uh, the way he laughs okay yeah but they're like the demons are like yeah hmm Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um. Damn. Whoa. Wait, what is that? Oh boy. Oh my god, I'm I'm feeling like they're gonna get in some kind of trouble here. Like Emma and the kids. Like this guy. <laughs> did de degeneration. Oh. Is this something that they have to like consume otherwise? Okay, they are eavesdropping. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. Wow, it's a lot. And there are also a lot of the children as well, so. Oh no, please. I'm... <laughs> Something's going to happen here, I am sure of it. Yeah, d also don't like drop your mask or something. And don't freak out. Uh... Oh, God damn it. Uh... Oh no. Oh. oh my god, Thanos is here. <laughs> oh. oh no, the wind. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, don't run! Like, that will make them more suspicious! Oh god. <laughs> like, I knew this was going to happen.
Yeah, but they will. Oh, oh no, I don't think they will like tell others because they need the money or something. Like they need the meat. Oh boy. Oh, who is this? Oh, that's uh Dawn, I think. Damn. <laughs> they can't run on roofs. Like that's an advantage. <laughs> Damn, they're like ninjas. Ooh. Ooh. And I think they lost or not. Okay, they are like luring them. Oh no. They are like freaking out, thinking that everyone's looking at them like that. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, they got in one of the houses. Or are they... Oh, okay. Um... Who is this? Oh. Damn, they're like surrounded. Uh... Is this Sonja and Mujika? Let's see. But there are three of them. Or no, more of them. Four of them. No, five of them. Um, who is this? Who? Come on, show us the face. Oh! <laughs> well, just like I said this before, like unless and until you see a body, you should not like like think that a person has died, especially in an anime or any type of show like that. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So, all right. So, like, I'm pretty happy. Like, uh, obviously, because Ron Norman came back. That's one reason. But another reason is. That I was kind of correct. Like you know, I, I kind of said that uh, when they showed the opening, there's like this weird space on the right side which is empty. <laughs> like I knew, like Norman's going to come back and he's going to like I, I'm guessing from the next opening or the from the uh, uh, like after that the openings, like we're going to get Norman in that place. <laughs> like that was like a big giveaway that yeah Norman or someone else is going to like join their team. Uh, and the pretty probable thing it was Norman because we still did not see like what the hell actually happened to him. So, yeah. <coughs> okay, wow. Oh, so, so Norman is with a few other demons, I think. Or are they also like humans disguising as uh, demons? Let's just like wait for the next episode. Okay, well, haha, <laughs> that was good. Yep, that's the end. Okay, so, like, nothing much happened in the first part of the episode. They were all, like, uh, looking for food and stuff. And we saw the whole, um, like, the society of the demons. 
and they also have families they also have uh, children and i think they are like the whole thing they said about degradation or something that somehow related to them not consuming human flesh i'm thinking or or i don't know like they kind of said that uh, if you don't uh, feed her uh, human meat uh, she will like, continue de degrading and like uh, they'll die or something said something like that so i'm guessing a few of them are also are like consuming meat because of necessity not just because they like want to for the sake of it uh, for the like taste uh, i think a few of them are really like uh, like especially like uh, people who are suffering like them who are somehow like um like as they said like degradation i'm not sure what they actually meant by that i'm guessing like if they don't consume human meat they will like degrade or something but anyways uh so that's one thing to think about like uh not all of them are really like eating it for the like taste or something like that uh, but a few of them are really in need so i'm not sure how to feel about that because obviously like uh like that's like that is not like because of that you will like have to consume human uh, flesh that that's not like a compromise like you cannot do that but still like mm, I'm not sure how to feel like they're like putting an attack on titan on us like you know when like uh they showed us like the whole situation of the marlians and we kind of sympathized with them uh, and they're doing the same here like um we are looking at the like demon society here and a few of them even like a few of them are kind of like uh like consuming human flesh because they like like it or something like that because they like they want to like as a delicacy like they're doing it like that's not okay but a few of them uh are really like in need for it so like yeah like i don't know how to feel about that but anyways um but that was that and uh i was really really surprised that they kind of time skipped and they did not show us like what happened uh at that moment uh, when they were like running away from that uh, monster thing in the like forest I'm guessing they'll like show that later on in some kind of flashback or something but uh like they like skip past a year I think and obviously like looking at the children uh we can see that a lot of them have grown up and like they have quite uh, like changed quite a lot and especially uh, uh that girl um I'm, I don't know her name you know the blonde girl with uh the big big are they called pigtails i think so uh those things uh uh like especially looking at her i can see that yeah like they have grown up like uh they were kind of like a uh, child like children in the pre like in the previous episode but now like uh her emma emma is, has also changed uh, quite a lot and a few of the children have also kind of like uh like became taller i think so <laughs> yeah like small little details and um that and what else oh and then we saw that uh demon um grandpa who came in uh, and uh, i'm guessing uh he did not recognize them because first of all he's blind second of all like they said that they are like masking their scent their human scent with something and thirdly uh he is quite old so i'm guessing his like smelling like sense is also a bit dulled so like because of these reasons he did not like mm, like under like he did not catch them and like find out that they are humans and i'm not even sure what he would have done if he somehow find found out that they are humans like would he try to like kill them or something like who knows anyways uh, and it turns out that he gives gives them some kind of food like uh, in like a uh, occasional manner like uh like they said like the children said that like he brings some offerings and that helps us a lot so okay and um that and there's this like two guys uh, not uh, the two demons who are looking for some human um like some human uh, meat because they want uh, to cure their i think their sister or something i don't know and like 
they like uh like i was sure like something was going to happen here like when they like decided to take the two kids uh, i think one of the name was thoma and another name is like i i really cannot like remember the name because the names are not mentioned frequently in this show so it is really uh, like hard for me to remember so i think one of their name was thoma and i cannot remember the other other ch child's name anyways uh, like when they decided to take them to the uh, uh like said like the marketplace i knew something was going to happen and yep it happened because obviously they are not accustomed to this whole thing of like uh like and their children like they are easily excited and they're easily freaked out seeing stuff so like yeah something happened and they bumped into the two demons the thanos demon and the other demon <laughs> and <laughs> and they like oh boy now like in the end like they, they I, I think they killed them off didn't they yeah 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 they killed them uh the two of them so anyways and then we see norman uh the big reveal and like as i said before like i was sure uh not 50, like 100 percent, but 50 percent sure that norman was still alive because they um did a really weird thing in season one where like they did not show us what actually happened to norman so that was a big hint uh as to like yeah norman is probably alive so that and uh, obviously in this season and uh, the opening like gave us uh one of the biggest hint that is like in the end when they show like emma and ray like standing together uh, i think in the right side yeah this side uh uh, is like empty like emma's left side uh, our, our right side is empty and like there were like two possibilities of that number one possibility was uh that uh, a new character would be introduced or something who would become like one of the main characters a uh, pretty like important part of the story and they would like place him in that like space that was the one possibility uh which i was really not um like i did not think that was going to happen the second possibility had the like much more uh, reason to come true that is like norman is alive and when they show us like after the episode they show us norman is alive we're going to like uh, from the next episode onwards or from the after the, that episode uh, in the openings we're going to see norman there like let's just check it out like in the next episode i'll check like i'll i'll be like like it would be really um fun to see if they really like put a norman in there or not like i'm looking i'm really looking forward to that in the next episode whether they change the opening like uh, a few enemies kind of do that like they like change the opening uh, subtly like a little bit little by little as the episodes go on so anyways and um yeah so that was basically the episode and one thing i thought the like that did not happen was like i thought they were going to meet sonju and mujika in the forest which uh did not happen and like i was really surprised at that like uh, the way the uh the anime was going that was like the what can i say like that was the like the way it should have been like you know like uh, sonju and mujika are in the forest uh, they usually like, are like uh, roaming around the forest and uh, the children they are like running into the forest so obviously they should have met but that did not happen i'm not sure why maybe because sonju and mujika was not there or something maybe they like uh travel to some other place who knows but anyways um and uh like yeah and we got to see norman so well all the, that's like the, one of the best things that happened and now that norman is here <laughs> i'm sure like things would change like norman was like the main brains of this like team and like him being here would change a lot of things like the whole thing was possible in season one because of norman because he like planned and strategized each and everything and uh like them following that plan kind of like really like helped them so like uh, emma is like the physical uh, like push like part of the team like he like she can like run she can like dodge stuff like that 
and she is like a stubborn and she does not give up like a character like that and ray is kind of like the all-rounder like he is intelligent and at the same time he is also like um very um uh like what can i say like extremely ag agile extremely like has a lot of stamina and stuff and and like yeah like emma is like the physical portion uh, norman is like the all-rounder one and norman was like the brains of the team so the brains being absent kind of like really uh like affected them because like they weren't able to come up with some kind of strategy as to how to like handle situations and stuff and um yeah now that like they they met norman i'm guessing a lot of things would change and there are also a few other people behind norman i think four of them so like there's like two possibilities either they're demons like they are like friendly demons like uh, mujika and sonju or they're humans disguised as demons like those are the two possibilities so let's just see and i think uh the possibility of them being humans is more here because i don't know like uh it's still really uh extremely rare for like demons to like actively help humans because sonju and mujika they were like they helped uh like emma and the kids because they were under like they are under this religion which forbids them from consuming meat which i doubt sonju uh <laughs> like even cares about like um <clears throat> following that because kind of he's kind of said that like yeah like just let them like uh alone for a few years and like uh we are not allowed to like like hunt humans but we are allowed to like hunt like cattle for our like uh like uh, for our sustenance so that is something different that is something that is not under our religion so we like he found a loophole within it so i'm not sure that he if he actually cares about the religion and its like rules or not but uh, i think so mujika is different so yeah anyways so uh, like yeah as i was saying like uh, it's really rare for like uh, demons like that like to like meet demons like that because most of the demons are like uh, we should consume humans uh, has this kind of uh, like uh, like things like this so yeah i think it, there may be humans like, most probably and another thing that comes, like, that poses the question here is like if norman is alive does isabella know this like she was like the uh, last person to like lead norman to that place so <laughs> did isabella help him help norman to like run away or something like i'm really like curious about a lot of things like i'm sure they're like explain that that to us like now that we have norman we will get to know everything from norman himself so like i'm really curious as to what the actual hell happened in, in there so yeah like like that's something to look forward to in the next episode so yeah that's this is a happy episode like a happy end ending uh we found norman back and yeah now they're back at 100% full power so yeah like that was like really good and yeah that was it that was it for this episode um uh, this was episode number 5 of uh, promise neverland god damn it ah Okay, uh, yeah, uh, this was uh, episode number 5 of Promise Neverland Season 2. So if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. And comment down below anything you want to say about this episode or anything in general. I'll be sure to check them out. And so yeah guys, uh, that's it. Uh, that was for this episode. So I'll see you guys in the next week with another video of Promise Neverland. So see you guys then. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.